What's going on everyone, Rich Lee here, and today it's time for the fifth episode in Season 2 of my Oxford United Road to Glory series. We've been playing pretty well so far, we're top of the table, so let's keep that good form going and pick up some more wins. And as always, if you could smash over 100 likes on this video, that would be amazing. First up today then, we've got a game against Notts County. They came up from League 2 with us last season, but they're not doing quite so well as we are. They're near the bottom of the table, but in this game, that doesn't always mean a huge amount. And as they start off the game, you can see they're on the front foot. They've got all of the possession. They're getting a few shots away. And they're unfortunate not to have taken the lead at this point. They've got another chance here. Cross that one over. And that one just goes wide. And then I was dilly-dallying on the ball there. I don't know what I was doing at the back. It wasn't good, though. And Fennec saves us there. They get another chance, though. And we just can't seem to get the ball away. Look, it keeps dropping for them. And thankfully, eventually, we do just about manage to get the ball away. Anyway, though, as we head into the second half, Angelino's moving forward with it. Can we create an opening here? We did absolutely nothing in the first half, but can we get a goal in the second? Angelino waits for that pass and then plays it at a completely wrong moment. Kemar Roof was offside. We get another chance here, though, with Circum. Poor effort. He gets another crack at it, messes it up. And it's a nil-nil draw. Next up then, we're taking on Scunthorpe. And we really need to do a lot better than we did in that last game. That was absolutely pathetic in that nil-nil display in the first game of the episode. We just weren't good enough at all. The first half especially, we were terrible. As we get into this game though, we're on the attack with Duncan Watmore. He plays that off to Reese Oxford. Reese Oxford usually plays at centre-back, but... For this game, he's moved up into a central midfield role. And that was a really nice ball over there. We could have got a goal, but sadly not. And now Scunthorpe are on the attack. Scars tries to outmuscle the player there. Can't quite do it. And then Luke Williams scores a looping header. And as you watch this back on the replay, you can see that Jamie Fennick was absolutely pathetic there. He's by far the best player in our squad. But on that occasion, he should have done so much better. On this final replay, you can see it the best. He dives far too late and yeah, Luke Williams grabs the goal. Fennec is incredibly disappointed with himself and rightly so. He should have stopped that. He's much better than League One quality. We're on the attack here though and we get the equaliser. As I'm talking about Fennec's failings, Reese Oxford brings us back into the game and gets the goal there. Smashes it past the keeper into the corner of the net. As I was saying before, he usually plays at centre-back but today he's playing in that central midfield role. And he even grabs himself a goal. A very fine performance from the young lad. Reese Oxford grabbing a goal for Oxford. And now we're on the attack once again. Franco's on the ball, goes for goal. Good stop by the keeper though. And now as we head into the second half, Joe Scars plays that forward. And we're on the attack once again. Reese Oxford playing a very key role there. We played it through to Duncan Watmore. And he should have scored there. He hits the post, but that definitely should have got, been a goal. And now Franco's on the ball. Plays it off to Reese Oxford. And once again, Reese Oxford it does so well there. Passes the ball on to Callum O'Dowder, the local lad, to get us the second goal. It's 2-1 to Oxford United. And that should be the game done and dusted. We're not going to allow Scunthorpe back into this game. We're the mighty Oxford United. We're the best team in League One. And we're going to show that here and pick up the win. Scunthorpe on the attack once again now then. Working their way down the wing with Luke Williams. What's he going to do here? He's going to cross that in, surely. No, he cuts that back, crosses it over. And Fennec punches the ball away. We've dealt with that, but not very well. Scunthorpe on the attack once again. They go for goal. And once again, Jamie Fennec saves us. He was poor for that first Scunthorpe goal, but he's definitely redeeming himself now. And having an absolute blinder. Scunthorpe hit that one wide. It's their final opportunity of the game. And we pick up the 2-1 victory. Time to take on Rochdale now then. And we really need to pick up another win here. We're top of the table at the moment. But Wigan are hot on our heels. And they're a very good team. They shouldn't be in League 1. In fact, they're not in League 1 anymore. They got promoted to the Championship. And fair play to them. With the help of Will Grigg. They're going up. And we get an early chance here. But Kemal Roof hits that wide. We should have scored that one. And we've got another chance here. Surely we've got to take this one. No, that was an absolutely pathetic finesse shot from Adams. We've got another chance though, working away from the back. Banton's on the ball. He's going to play that forward as he plays it off to Kemar Roof. Kemar Roof is looking for the pass. Plays it forward to Duncan Watmore and then Roof continues to make the run. Smashes it into the corner of the net and we take the 1-0 lead there. Kemar Roof missed a much easier opportunity earlier in the game but 
He doesn't mess that one up. He takes the opportunity. He created it, played it off to Duncan Watmore. He receives the ball back and then slots it home comfortably into the corner of the net to make it 1-0. And now we're on the attack once again here with Duncan Watmore. Plays that off to Denon Lewis. But he hits it straight at the keeper. I've been so disappointed with Lewis. He's just not good enough for me, to be honest. I don't like him. He's not my kind of player. He's only on loan, though, so it doesn't really matter too much. And now he's on the ball once again. Can he do something this time? He was useless last time, but this time he crosses that one over. That really nice ball there, but unfortunately our players can't do anything about it. And now Rochdale are on the attack. They float that one into the box. They've got another chance at goal. Are they going to take this opportunity? They're moving it around nicely, but then the shot was absolutely terrible. They've got another crack at it now, though. They play the ball into the box, and that was pathetic. They should have done so much better there, but they didn't, and they lose the game 1-0. And now it's time to take on Bradford City. We're in good form at the moment, so going into this game, I was feeling very confident. I thought I was going to pick up the win. And we make a pretty good start to the game here. Banton works his way down the wing. He's looking for a pass into the box. Plays that across to Kemar Roof. And I don't know how he gets his shot away there. He was sandwiched between two Bradford City defenders. But he manages to get it away. And not only does he get his shot off. But he finds the back of the net as well. Really nice finish there from Kemar Roof. Awesome player for Oxford in reality. And he's doing well for me in the game as well. He'll be coming with us all the way to the Premier League. He's a very solid player. He scores the goal there to give us the lead, but Bradford are working their way back into the game. That one goes wide, thankfully. We've got another chance here with Circum. Can he get us a second goal? No, good stop by the keeper. And now Bradford have got another chance here with Devontae Cole. Working his way into the box, plays that across, and it's 1-1. And despite the fact that it's not even half-time yet, we're not going to get back into this game. The second half was a complete write-off, I can tell you that now. And that is the way that the game finishes. It's a 1-1 draw against Bradford City. Not the worst result in the world, but obviously I would have liked to have won it. Time for a break from League One action now then as we take on Bristol Rovers in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. Oxford got to the final this year in reality, only to lose to Barnsley. Heartbreaking day. I was there at Wembley. It was very disappointing, but maybe we can win the Johnson's Paint in the game. That would be awesome. We've got a chance here with Raute. Should have done better there, though. Terrible effort, a goal. And now Bristol Rovers whip that into the box. We got it away, though. Circum's on the ball. What can he do here? He's searching for the pass. Plays that off to Jason Banton. I've been really impressed with Banton so far this season. He's been one of our better players. Plays that forward for Kemar Roof. He just about managed to keep that under his control. Plays it back to Banton. And now Banton gets around his man there. Probably should have put up more of a fight, but... Banton works his way across, plays that to Lundstrom, and we find the back of the net. We make it 1-0. We've taken the lead in the Johnson's paint, and I would absolutely love to win this trophy. It's a chance to go to Wembley. It's not the most important cup in the world, but I don't care. I want to win it. We're going to get promoted to the championship this season, so this is our last opportunity to win this trophy, and I want to do it. I want to pick up that win in the final, lift the trophy at Wembley, and we've got a chance to do it here. We're, well, we're going through to the next round at least anyway. And I would like to hope that we will go all the way. And for the final game of the episode, we're taking on Burton Albion. And we've got a corner here. It's the 66th minute of the match. Nothing had happened up to this point. It had been a very dull game. But then we take the lead through Che Adams. With a really nice finish, to be honest. He finds the top corner. Floats it into the back of the net. And the keeper had no chance there. Really nice finesse shot. Uh, just look at that. It's a moment of magic from Che Adams. I was really happy with that goal. Like I say, it's the 66th minute of the match and literally nothing had happened up to that point. But then we find the breakthrough. We've got a chance to make it 2-0 here with Denon Lewis working his way forward. But he hits the post. He's hit the post six or seven times now. We only just signed him at the start of this second season. Yet he just keeps hitting the post. I don't know what it is about him. He just loves that post. We've got another chance here, but we hit that wide, unfortunately. Jordan Bowery was the player that missed that one. He hasn't been good either. Denon Lewis has been pretty awful. And Jordan Bowery has been equally terrible. Denon Lewis isn't our player, though. He's only on loan. But Bowery, unfortunately, he is our player. And now Burton have got a chance here late on in the game. They swear that across, and Fennec saves us. Such a good keeper for us, but... He can't save us that time. Burton equalise, and that's the way the game's going to finish. It's a 1-1 draw. So, 16 games played, and we've already drawn six of them. 
That's far too many draws in my opinion. We need to start turning some of those draws into wins. And if we can do that, that will be incredible. At the moment though, we're already top of the table. So, although we are drawing too many games, we're still the best in League One. And I'm very happy with that. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again next time.